everybody welcome to my channel uh, my name is just call me fluffy um, as you can tell from my page name or channel name fluffy hates fibro uh, I do have fibromyalgia um, it's terrible syndrome to have um, I also will be doing a lot of mukbangs with it uh, I am most comfortable uh, when I eat so um, yeah um, excuse my dog he is a chihuahua and some woman is going around the neighborhood and she's lost her dog and so they can hear that so I'm hoping that that's not too disturbing um, I'm using the camera off my uh, laptop and I don't know how to pause it uh, it just stops it so let me see if I can pause it if not I'll try again Nope, can't pause it, so we'll just keep going. If not, I'll just have to start a different wow. mukbang. Um, I don't know what I'll do when I do my mukbangs if this continues. I may just have to have a neighbor watch him. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. I made this channel so that we can, those of us with fibromyalgia, can uh, discuss fibro in a less sterile environment. Uh, where we can talk freely about uh, our condition, syndrome, disease, whatever you want to call it. Besito, that's enough. Um, because I don't know about you, but anytime I've researched fibromyalgia on YouTube, a lot of it is a lot of medical jargon at conferences, um, and I don't feel like they put it in terms that we can understand. Um, so yeah, we'll be discussing that uh, throughout my channel. We'll bring up other subjects. Um, what I'm eating today is called, well my mother calls it hot chicken. Um, she is full-blooded German, but when we were stationed in Germany, uh, she met a Korean woman named Sunja, and she taught her how to make this dish. Um, I believe on YouTube I've seen a couple of videos that the ingredients are similar and they called it soy sauce chicken or braised chicken. Um, I did add, add rice cakes. Uh, the Koreans call it duck. Um, love Korean food by the way so you'll see me eating a lot of it. Um, I just really love it. Mm. If you've never had it you really need to try it. Um, there's a dish called duck bookie and um, it is strictly a rice cakes dish. It's a spicy rice cake dish. I totally love it. I'll have to try to make that. I've only ever eaten the instant kind. Um, anyway, I first um, was made aware of uh, mukbangs uh, a long time ago, years ago, uh, roaming around YouTube, and I came across this Korean young man. He's in Korea. It's, mukbangs are very popular in Korea. And his name is Benz. I know some people call him Ban, so I, so excuse me, sir, I don't know which one is correct. But it fascinated me uh, the amount of food that he could eat. It just really, I just was glued to the screen because I'm like, oh my gosh, he eats that much and he's not as big as I am. <laughs> uh, so then here recently, I started watching the mukbangs again, and I came across two young Korean women that live here in the States that really inspired me to move forward with this channel. I thought, well, I love doing mukbangs, I enjoy eating, and I really want to raise more awareness and discuss my fibromyalgia with others who can probably relate to a lot of what I'm saying. Um, the two young women, uh, Kimmy, shout out to her, Besito! Uh, shout out to her. She, I really love her mukbangs. She's doing some new things in her videos, which are very fascinating. I love them. She's doing really good work. And the other woman is Mommy Tang. Uh, I am part of the Tang gang. Uh, I really love watching her. She is a vegan, and um, she knows that not everybody on her channels is vegan. And uh, so, sorry, Mommy Tang. But uh, she has inspired me to eat better. Um, which is why I have the lettuce here. She does a lot of lettuce wraps. And I didn't think that you could do a lot of so many things with the wraps. I know there's a Korean barbecue that you use the lettuce wraps. But a lot of things that she does, y'all really need to check her channel out, especially if you're a vegan. 
Um, I know part of helping with fibro is eating cleaner. Um, um, from what I've been told, the articles that I've read, um, processed foods are very hard on us fibro people because it uh, promotes inflammation, which reducing your inflammation is supposed to help you uh, feel better. Um, I did try the uh, gluten-free, and I can say that it really didn't help me. I don't know if I didn't stick with it longer or long enough or what, but it really didn't help. So, Mama Tang, she's really sweet, and she eats very healthy, and I like a lot of her dishes. Um, so, yeah, check both of those out, Kimmy and Mommy Tang. Um, anyway back to fibromyalgia um, I think the hardest part for me um, it was my family and some of my friends um, you know my family is from a suck it up and keep moving type of family which there's nothing wrong with that except for if it's a condition that you can't suck it up and move on um, I know it took a long time for me to get the diagnosis and, um, you know, you get a lot of, and let me know in the comments if you fibro people got a lot of this. Um, everybody has aches and pains. You're getting older. Uh, you don't look sick. Uh, that's a loud, a, loud, a loud ice maker on that brand new fridge. You couldn't tell it's a new fridge. Um, besito. Um... So, uh, that really, really frustrating. And the one that I really, really hate the worst is if you'd only lose weight. That's the one I hear all the time. If you'd only lose weight, well, I hate to break it to you, but skinny people have it too. So, I know that my knees would feel better. Uh, I would feel a little bit better uh, losing weight, which is I'm going to try really hard to eat a lot better. Um, so this is chicken in here because the hot chicken and then I have the lettuce but um I think the one symptom that I'm really glad that I don't have a lot of when I have the pressure points but it's the touch sensitivity I know for what I've read in the support groups I've done a lot of research on Google and things like that being part of several support pages on Facebook so I just want to put it out there that I'm not a doctor I don't claim to be a doctor and I don't claim to have all the answers uh, when I discuss things that help me it doesn't mean that it's going to help you um, but from what I understand some people are so touch sensitive they can't even wear clothes anymore even pajamas um, kind of hurt them um, so for me a bra uh, does hurt uh, it feels tight I, for the longest time I had old raggedy bras because they were loose filling, fitting and they didn't hurt but then again I might as well not have been wearing one for all the support it did not give <laughs> so let me know how touch sensitive y'all are um, I think the one thing that does keep me going are my dogs as you can keep hearing I've got the one his name's Besito he is a rescue and he's full-blooded Chihuahua, which means what? The dog loves to bark. Now, I must say, he hasn't barked all day and it's like 9 o'clock at night. And, um, and of course, what I decide to film is when he hears every single dog he's outside. Um, and I have three other dogs, uh, well, two other dogs. One's my daughter. She's uh, out of town right now, so we're kind of dog-sitting. And she's half Chihuahua, half Pug, Chug. And then we have two other dogs, and all four of them are rescue dogs. So you'll hear them bark from time to time. And if I can figure out how to pause this sucker or uh, edit, that's going to be another interesting thing, edit. So I don't know how this video will look once it hits my page <laughs> or my channel. Uh, so anyway, yeah. Um, like I said, I love Korean food. Um, always have. Okay, it seemed to get away from it. I know that if we eat cleaner, our fiber will help. I try to cut out as many processed foods as I can. Uh, 
doesn't always work out. My vice is jalapeno chips. I love jalapeno chips. And I'm thinking that usually I'll get up the energy to eat once a day. And so I'm hoping that this page or this channel will keep me humble. Because uh, y'all knowing that I really want to try to lose weight and I get on here, I'll... Y'all be seeing, y'all will be seeing what I'm eating, so maybe that'll guilt me into saying, "Well, maybe I should eat something healthier on camera." So this is the start. Hmm. So good. So so good. Hmm. Do y'all like Korean food? Have you tried Korean food? There are very, very few Korean items that I don't like. I love kimchi. I have kimchi, but it's starting to sour, which it's starting to ferment, which not best eaten as a soup. And I hope to get to the point on here where I can cook in front of y'all, but I am a messy eater, and I am even worse messy cook, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, anyway, I live down south. Um, I, like I said, I have three dogs. <clears throat> I am married. Her name is Ruth. <gasps> oh my god, she's one of those! <laughs> Yes, I am one of those. Uh, but anyway, um, she also works the same job that I used to have. Uh, I do not work anymore because of my fibromyalgia and because of a fall that I had a couple of years ago, which is why I now wear glasses. And uh, I will discuss that with y'all uh, on one of my videos. Uh, it's a real long story, so and very interesting. Um, so... But we'll get into that. We, uh, I love my job, and it really hurt me when I had to quit. Um, but I worked corrections, and when you work corrections, you have to be 100% able to defend yourself and defend others uh, if needed. And my fibro has gotten so bad that I didn't feel like between my condition of my eyes and the weakness that I had because of my fibro that I could continue that. Um, I applied for disability and it took me a couple of tries, but um, I finally got it. And we can discuss that. I know some people are having a hard time. Um, my eye and the fibromyalgia, um, it the, uh, were the reasons that I did get approved, even though it took two tries. I didn't know. I don't know if some of y'all know that fibro is a reason for qualifying or is a qualifier for um, receiving benefits. Um, so we can go through that. I was always told that it was always best that you go with a um, a lawyer, a law firm, because you get approved faster. And being and seeing as how, even though I did have a lawyer, I still got approved the first time around. I agree that it would be your to the best interest to get a lawyer. Um, some of the reasons why. Uh, don't know if you've been through the process but one of the things they had me do was go see one of their physicians um, that works for them and when I went one of the questionnaires was um, just things that you could do and one of the things I put on there it asked me how many steps did I think I can go up and um, how far did I think I could walk and one of the things that I put up there is that I couldn't walk more than 10 minutes on my own which that was a stretch because I can't even do that without leaning on a shopping cart um, so when they denied me the first time they send you this uh, letter and explaining 
why they denied you the first time. And one of the things they said was that on my work history, uh, I put that I had worked fast food in the past, and I had. And um, so that because I put that and I have experience in that, that they were denying me because I could always get a job doing that. So I was like, I rolled my eyes, and I'm like, really? So when me and my law firm appealed, I got lucky because the next guy that was going to look at my request for uh, disability called me because he had a question about uh, something on my, um, excuse me, So, um, I t and he had a question about something in my work history. can't remember what it is now, but he was about to hang up with me, and I asked him if he was going to be the one making the determination about my case, and he said yes. So, I told him that, well, can I ask him a question or tell him something that was work history related? And he had said, sure. And I told him, I said, I said, in my first denial... Um, because I had put that I worked fast food and he's like yeah and it sounded like he had the, the thingy in front of him and I said and it said that I could always do that work I said if you look at my medical um, visit with the doctor you sent me to I put on there that I could only stand for like five ten minutes at a time I said what fast food restaurant do you know that's gonna let the employee sit every ten minutes the job experience that I put on there, I was a, a fry cook for Long John Silver's. I said, and the manager was a good friend of mine that gave me the job. And I'm like, she's not even going to allow me to sit in front of the fryer every 10 minutes. And he kind of chuckled and he said, well, you're right. So I'm hoping that that was a deciding factor um, for me. So anyway, I finally got approved the second time around. The only other problem with that, and Lord, you know that I'm not begrudging the amount that I got, but it was way less than what I was making. And I don't know, I felt selfish by calling them up and asking them how they made the determination. I thought they kind of got you close to what you were making, but apparently not. But once you're on disability, um, you're not allowed to make over so much a month. And term, it, I, I guess it's determined by how much you're getting. Because somebody told me they could make this much, and what I'm allowed to make is a lot less than that. So, um, I'm not sure if I'll monetize this channel or not, because uh, I don't want to lose my disability. If, if I become popular on here, at least enough, um, that's going to put me over that mark. So, I'm really not sure. Um, but that's kind of sucky, because if I just want to go be able to work part-time in a place that will allow me to sit down you know I have to leave before my time insist on clocking out and always being afraid I'll go over that amount um, and then losing my disability but I think leaving the job was both a good thing and a bad thing The good thing is, is that I wasn't so stressed out, being concerned all the time that something was going to happen and I'd have to respond and then I hurt the situation more than I helped it. Um, I could finally rest because um, it was just killing me to have to go to work every day. Um, but on the downside, I've become more sedentary. I'm not a person that can... Um, uh, do stuff that I know is going to make me be in pain. Um, my family calls that being a sissy lala. <laughs> so I don't know if that just comes naturally because I'm me or is the fibro doing that. 
what do you think, fibro people? Do you, do you find yourself that you're a sissy lala? Can you make your stuff do stuff that you know is going to make you in pain? So, I think that physically I've gotten worse because I can sit around and not do a lot. Um, I do try to do at least one thing every day um, because, you know, with four dogs in the house, things tend to get a little furry. Um, and, you know, there's just three of us that live in, my, in our house. My daughter lives with us, too. Not right now, but she's out of town. But it's hard to keep up. And I feel and guilt. What about you, fibro people? Feeling a lot of guilt because I can't do a lot. And I shouldn't. And they tell you that all the time, that, you know, you shouldn't feel guilty because you can't help what you have. But, you know, thank God for a dishwasher and... I do make myself get up because the dogs need out uh, to go outside. They need to eat and things like that. So I do have to get up to do that. So I think that's a plus. Um, before my daughter had to go out of town on business, she had a whole bunch of plant, plants that she bought. Flowers and plants. and They're in the front yard and they're in the backyard. And she made me promise that I wouldn't let them die. Which meant what? Getting up and watering. So, she'll be so shocked that they're still alive. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked they're still alive. But, that helps keep me moving. And I really don't think that people who don't have anyone that has this affliction, disease, syndrome, um, really understands that it's just not about nerve pain. It's about a whole lot of other stuff. And it's really kind of hard. You know, you see all those memes on Facebook about we just say we're okay because it's easier than explaining. And I know that my family, at least, gets tired of my fibro memes on Facebook. But by putting them on there on a regular basis, I've had several people, another family member, a close friend of mine, um, and friends who don't have it, but th their friend just got diagnosed, contact me and ask me for advice. Like, once again, I'm not a nurse or whatever, but I just explain what helps me. Now, I'm not one of those um, people that take um, narcotics. Um, I do have them for back pain, but I have to be pretty dang off bad off to take one um, I am in pain every day just like the rest of y'all uh, I tolerate more pain than normal because I know that it's a slippery slope uh, when it comes to narcotics and as my rheumatologist uh, put it when he first diagnosed me he says that he does not issue narcotics to his patients um, I'm on gabapentin again for my back and he said, since I'm already on that, he's not going to even suggest Lyrica. And apparently Lyrica is a more concentrated form of gabapentin or Neurontin. I don't know. I think that's what he said. And people have a lot of bad side effects with the Lyrica, so just stay on the gabapentin. Well, half the time I forget to take it. But I do a lot of soaks in the tub with Epsom salt, baking soda, and um, lavender oil. Um, so that helps. And the dogs already know that if I get up and walk in there, it's soaking the tub time. And they'll come check on me every now and again. And so, that's nice. Not that they could do anything, but at least they care. <laughs> um, and I think what I hate about staying home all the time is missing family things, you know. I've really tried hard to make it to family gatherings. Um, because I know the disappointment when I can't make it because they don't understand I'm feeling too bad or fatigued to go anywhere. It makes me sad. What about you? Do you have a real understanding family? My daughter gets it. <clears throat> I think as much as she can get it not having it herself uh, my wife gets it yes I have a wife oh my god she's one of those <laughs> anyway uh, she kind of gets it 
uh, has sympathy for me uh, so she understands and gets frustrated uh, when I feel down because I can't do something um, I feel bad that I've had the family lose money our budgets much tighter because we took such a hit um, when I had to quit work but uh, she's been great so God, this is so good doing more talking than eating and this is supposed to be a mukbang oops let me catch up a little bit <laughs> that was my wife who tried to call she's on her way home she usually only texts, but my first night of filming, she tries to call me. So that's what I did. I had to text her real quick. Well, between the dogs and my wife, I don't know what this mukbang is going to look like. Sorry, mukbang. Mukbang is Korean, and it means eating show, apparently. My cakes are really, really chewy tonight. <laughs> I'm a messy eater. The dogs lay around my feet. I'm in the living room. The dogs lay around my feet hoping I'll drop something because chances are I will. So change the channel if you don't like a mess eater. But I was um, kind of concerned that people wouldn't want a big girl watch a big girl eat I hope that's not the case um, but you never know what is your favorite thing to eat have you changed your diet because of your fibro does every a lot of posts and stuff say that you should. I'm going to try to in future videos. This was just my first one, so I hope I'm doing okay. Y'all let me know what I could do better, what I should avoid doing. I know the first thing is, is don't let your dogs bark or find another camera where you can pause. <laughs> Maybe something you'd like to see me eat, I can try to make that happen. Um, my first time eating tonight I think I had a couple of corn in the cobs earlier but when I first get up I don't know about y'all but when I first get up I'm kind of groggy and I feel kind of lah so I really don't feel like eating I'm not sure if I have my I wear a CPAP face mask and sometimes I go all day with lines on my face so let me know if you see them looking in the camera now of course it's a little far away I don't see them so that's what it is if you do see them I feel like I should be talking every minute. What do you think? Is it okay in a book bag to take a break and just eat? I'm not sure what prompted y'all to come on my channel. Whether it's the word mukbang or was it the word fibro. Maybe a combo. Aside from the interruptions, this has been kind of fun, actually. I know I liked watching them. Wasn't sure if I'd like doing them. <laughs> what about grocery shopping? Do you find those exhausting? I sure do. On my, I got a list. And I try to do the shopping so that my wife don't have to do it. 
doesn't have to do it on her days off. Um, but I get scolded because she knows how difficult it is for me. Um, I don't usually get to finish. Um, it's all I can do to check out. And uh, I don't really feel comfortable riding those wheelchairs. For one, I don't want to get there already, you know what I mean? Figure I'm doing well if I'm walking. But there are times that I really, really, really want to um, see there I see messy Mabel um, to use one every now and again but you get those stairs like pardon my language you know fat ass get out of there that's for the handicapped and uh, I, I know I shouldn't care what people think but I do it bothers me and mostly because they make assumptions um, and it hurts my feelings it does what about y'all Do y'all get those looks do you not care if you have to use one you use one oh. I'm not crying that's the chill of the spiciness this is spicy it's got um, Hot pepper paste, gochujang in here, which is a Korean hot pepper paste. So, and it was my first time making my mother's hot chicken. So, um, I went heavy on the gochujang because I love this stuff. Well, now it's making my nose run. So, hmm. I love Korean food. My mother is pure blooded German. My father, who's now passed, um, pure blooded Mexican. So, where the love of Korean food came from, I have no idea. My father used to ask my mother all the time, was the milkman, <laughs> was the milkman Korean? I remember there's a, there's a Korean, um, grocery store here called Omar and I go there all the time I mean I go there so often all the cashiers know me but uh, I'll go in there and buy kimchi and all that stuff and they tell me I'm more Korean than they are and they're Korean <laughs> and they know if I haven't been in there a while I try to keep myself in kimchi I was going to put out some kimchi to eat alongside of it because I love kimchi, but the one that I have is um, going sour, and I can't eat it just like that um, too much with it being too sour. That's when you put it in a kimchi stew. It's called kimchi jjigae, which I love. So maybe I'll eat some of that in a few days. I'm not sure how often I'll do these. I guess it'll depend on if people are outside. My mom was done with mukbang. I don't think I'll finish. I'm filming for 33 minutes now. I don't know how long this is supposed to be. I guess that depends on me. But I'm getting full. Which I guess, you know, my vice is jalapeno chips. So. My wife tries not to keep them in the house. Um, haven't had any in some time. But that and Puffy Cheetos. And if I have them in the house, I'll eat them until they're gone. Uh, which is not good. All the salt and the artificial the preservatives and all that. Not good for a fiber person, apparently. It's not coming from a doctor. That's coming from me reading articles, okay? I just don't want anybody to misunderstand me. Um, but... And I'm almost done so the dog's not barking anymore, right? It's just ice water. That's another thing. Um, sodas. That's another my weakness. Diet Pepsi is the bomb. 
Yes, and I'm one of those ones that everybody jokes about. They will go to All You Can Eat Buffet. Or, or I'll order a really luxurious meal at a restaurant. Totally calorie ridden. And they'll ask for Diet Pepsi. Or Coke, whatever they have. I prefer Pepsi, but you know. Yeah, all those memes. Yeah, I'm on those. This rice is getting a little loose. I think I'll switch to a spoon, although I love my chopsticks. And there's something about using sticks to eat Asian food. It just tastes better. I don't know. Maybe it's just a mental thing. Anyway, and the reason for that is back when I was 18, I went on my first diet. And one of the things you do is you go to diet drinks. I think back then it was Tab. And Tab, I love Tab. Anyway, I went to diet drinks. Well, when I fell off my diet and went back to eating really bad things, I tried to go back to real sodas. And when I did, they were so sweet I couldn't stand it. So ever since then, whether I'm on a diet or not, I drink Diet Pepsi, Diet Coke. It's not for the calorie saving, it's just for the taste. Real sodas are just too sweet. So the next time you want to criticize somebody for that, just ask yourself, well, it could be because of the taste. <laughs> but then again, those memes are funny as hell, so. Here's what a rice cake looks like. It's just manipulated rice flour. They add water to it and I've seen it. They knead and beat the hell out of it uh, to make it to uh, make the gluten come out and it gets real sticky and then they roll it and form it. There's flat ones that look like coins. There's this one which is used in duck bucky. I've gone to really liking these because of the chew factor but Maybe not in a mukbang because it seems to take me forever to eat one. <laughs> and then this, let's see if I can get a pretty piece, is the hot chicken. Whoop! Ooh, this is my wife's computer and I just threw soy sauce and rice on it. Oops. I make it clean up before she gets home. <laughs> I told you I'm a mess eater, okay? I mean, I'm just now. Man, how about the heat? Where are y'all from? I'm in Texas and the heat's been crazy. I'll go out there and let the dogs out the back door and that heat just, boom, just gets you. Just, it's like like a, somebody's hitting you in the face or hitting me in the face with a balloon. I mean, it's just, I'm like, oh my gosh. Besito, you've been doing real good. Don't start. I, they hear a car outside. I hear a car outside. Not my wife. She's not back yet. Anyway, I hope to start getting a little bit more interesting. Um, I'll start writing out what you know I want to talk about I want to go into more depth about um, I don't know if I said anything about my glasses but I had a fall a couple of years ago night before Halloween in 2014 um, really kind of changed the course of my life but I do thank God that um, I'm still here uh, could have been worse um, so and it, I think it relates to when it happened it had to do with fibro but we'll get into that it's a pretty long story I'll probably dedicate a whole video to that one. Not sure how often I'll do these. Um, maybe it'll depend on the response I get for this video. Um, so hopefully I'll get more interesting. I hope I didn't bore y'all. Uh, really want to get into discussions with um, fibromyalgia. Uh, try to have it go both ways. Learn how to do live chat once I'm comfortable with doing these videos. I'm really upset because the beginning of the very first one I did was a lot better than the intro on this one, uh, but then the dang dog had to start barking at the neighbor, and like I said, I'm using uh, Ucam that's installed on here, and it doesn't have a pause button. You either 
play it or record or you stop so uh, that kind of sucks and um, really don't know how to edit so we'll see how that goes I, in the beginning I probably won't have any fancy words or introductions or anything on there like some of the other um, gents and ladies have uh, but I have a couple of friends that are real tech savvy not sure if I want them to know that I'm doing mukbangs I may or may not ask them about that um, so please stick with me if you kind of sort of like me uh, or like what I had to say today and uh, I'll finish this up off camera sorry I didn't get too much of the lettuce I'm really feeling kind of awkward right now I think the dog and the phone call from the wife kind of threw me off uh, but I hope you've seen enough that you're intrigued uh, to see my next video and uh, we'll do discussions uh, about fibro and other things um, and more mukbangs so yeah uh, I know uh, I've enjoyed doing them. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I mean, I, I, I liked watching the mukbangs and stuff and how easily they spoke. And I think people, when they're gathered around eating, um, they uh, feel more comfortable around each other. So maybe next time you sit down with a bowl of food before you turn my channel on or my video on and maybe we can eat together. So uh, anyway, uh, much love to those uh, mukbangers that inspired me. Uh, and uh, I hope to see y'all soon. Uh, anyway, and I noticed that there's a glare and I have to figure out which light because I didn't want to be poor lighting. I thought it was the TV, but I turned the TV off. So I have a feeling though it's the computer screen that's doing it. So we'll have to check that out and see. But uh, I cannot take my glasses off. See if I'm down here kind of looking down. See, that's what I looked like y'all. <laughs> There you go. Hi. Anyway, I'm going to finish this up. We're at uh, about 42, 43 minutes, and that's kind of long. I'll play this back, and if it sucks, you'll never see it. But hopefully, if it doesn't suck too bad, I'll put it on there. Uh, anyway, um, thank you all for watching. I hope you watched it all the way through, and uh, hope to see you uh, see my next video. All right. Bye, everybody. See you soon.